got beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice, raw, raw, beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken. Well, good morning to y'all. They all need the light on shit. How are y'all doing this morning? Man, I tell you what. It's coming up close that time of year again. Coming up on Thanksgiving. That time of year we're supposed to be thankful. I don't know. Yeah, the older I get, the less thankful I am for the shit I gotta put up with all year long. And the people I gotta deal with all year long. But we're supposed to gather around as friends and family around the same table. Hold hands. Say blessing and all that and act like we care and love about these people we got sitting around us. Let's run the gambit of the people that's around us. Let's talk about Thanksgiving. Why I'm such a grouch at Thanksgiving. Oh, I hear I'm a grouch all the time, every year. It's Thanksgiving. Why are you such a grouch? need to calm down. Don't need to be so ill. All right. Let's break it down. 90% of this year, I've worked six and a half days a week. I get a, a, a few days off for Thanksgiving, and I want to damn relax. I want to sit, hit the pause button, rewind, just sit. But, no, I gotta go grocery shopping. And you can think grocery shopping at Walmart's bad during the week, any other time of the year. Try going to Thanksgiving. You think it's bad when you roll up down a dead toilet paper napkin aisle and ain't shit on the shelves? Try that shit Thanksgiving, the day before. Two days before. Hell, fuck around like I do every now and again and fuck up and do it the day of. Go try that shit. Man. I mean, we already got, you know, like, the, the basic shit, like the turkey, uh, the eggs, yams, cranberry sauces, you know, all that shit. You know, the, the same old special guest every year. Potatoes, potato salad, all that shit. I'm talking about that shit that we fuck around and forget. She's in there cooking. She's got the fucking oven going, the microwave going, all four eyes on the stove going. Holy crap. Hell, I'm waiting on her to damn build a fire out back and put a grill of a damn 43 Ford out there and then start cooking on top of that son of a bitch. She's got everything going. And I ask her, this every year I ask her. A week, a few days, two days before, you got everything you need. You got your little seasonings, you got your your big tin full pan, you put your turkey in, you put your ham in, all that. So you got all that. She gets hard with me about the third time I ask. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I wake up Thanksgiving morning. Stretch. Look forward just to go and just chill out on the couch for a while. I get up. And my day of being thankful begins. Oh, I'm glad you're up. I need you to run to the store and pick up some batteries. What the hell? Yeah. All right. So I'm thinking I need to run down to the little convenience store down the road on the corner. Five minute trip there and back. I'm done. Yeah, I can do that. So I go get dressed. 
go in there. Oh, and I need you to get some of this. I need this. I need that. This, that, each other. I need some of this gimmicks. I need some of this stuff. I need some of that thing of my shit. Everything. She done wrote me out a fucking list. Grocery list. So it looks like I'm going to Walmart. Like crap. So I get there, get all the stuff. I mean, halfway there, she done called. Hey, add this to the list. Add that to the list. God damn. Like, what the fuck? I go in there. Now, I'm not a grocery store kind of guy. I'm not. You take me to the toy section. I know where all the toys are at. What toys you're looking for, I know where it's at. Come on, let's go. I take you to the damn sporting goods area. You want to know where the fishing rods at? The fishing lures, hunting guns, hunting targets. That I know it's right over here. Come on, I got you. But you put me in a grocery store. Oh my lord. I'm about as lost as a blind mouse in a damn maze. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where to look. I don't know the first thing to look. Oh, yeah. Oh, you asked for baloney? Yeah, I can find that. No problem. Just go to the cold cut area and you'll find it. No, oh, she wants some weird shit that's on like a little, a little end corner shelf there. It's usually on the corner shelf. I think it's either aisle 12 or aisle 8 or somewhere in between there. I'm walking the whole thing up, up and down there for a damn aisle. And then I start over. Up and down. It ain't bound it nowhere. Ask a person that works there. Hey, excuse me. Can you tell me where... Uh, find it on my list. Where this is. Yeah, it's down there. I think it's aisle 12 or aisle 13. Okay, I'll, and I'll tell them, I'll, look, I walked all these aisles up here. I couldn't find it. Can you point it? Can you walk me to it and show me? They walk, and they go in, and they're looking. They look as damn dumbfounded as I am. Well, I don't guess we have any. You think you have some in the back? No, everything in the back's been brought out. Oh, shit. And it's just an ongoing thing. So I make the dreaded call. Hey, look, they don't have none. Well, go to Ingalls, go to Food Line, go to Win Dixie. I'm going to all these places. They don't have it. Nowhere. I'm about to start going door to door, knocking on door, asking somebody for, for a cup of paprika and a bowl of damn breadcrumbs. Good God Almighty. But, you know, I get the shit done, I get back home, I set everything on the counter. There you go. That's what you wanted. This is it. Here you go. I go back in there. In the living room. I go to sit down. My ass don't even hit the cushion. It's just hovering. Just barely gets to the cushion. Hey, come in here for a minute. God. Damn. What? Keep an eye on this while I step outside for a moment. <clears throat> what do you need outside? I'll go get it. I was gonna go have a cigarette. Son of a bitch. Alright, shit. You know, everybody gotta have a cigarette. So I'm over there and I'm trying to, you know, play two ends of the damn field at the same time. I don't know whether to wipe my ass or wipe my watch. I mean, I'm just confused as shit. So I just fart and guess at the time. I mean, I'm just, I'm stirring this, I'm stirring that, poking this, poking that. God damn, she comes back in and I go in there and I get, again, get ready to sit down. So I stop mid-set. Don't hear nothing. So I slowly sit down and lay back. My hand touches the remote. Hey, do me a favor. God damn. What? I go in there and she wants this done, wants that done. Help me get this, help me get that. And I'm supposed to be thankful for all this shit. Well, we get all that 
that shit done. Everything's cooked, all the dirty dishes are washed and put away. Everything, it looks like Martha Stewart just walked up and snapped her fingers and got the spread right there. Nobody don't see the shit we went through or the shit I went through to make sure this shit went off without a hitch. No, oh, they just show the hell up. And now let's go through the damn people that show up. Let's go through that shit. Now we tell everybody damn near before Halloween and we text and remind them about once a week what time we eat, what time to be there. You got the one person that'll show up two hours early. We tell them about 2.30. They show up about quarter to 12. So I'm thinking, okay, they're going to help. No. They're going to sit there and gossip about everybody else is going to be there. <coughs> Other members of the family, they ain't coming. Why they ain't coming, like they know, you know, like they got the inside track on everybody in the family. Oh, man. Oh, did you hear? I know why he ain't coming. Because last year you said his baked potatoes wasn't good. I know why she ain't coming. Because y'all didn't have diet unsweetened tea last year. Who gives a fuck? You know? But I digress. You got that person. Then you got the ones that show up on time and they want to brag to everybody that they got there on time. They'll walk in the door. Look at here, huh? You say 2.30, what time is it? Huh? 2.30 on the dot. Yeah. See, I'm glad I took the damn freeway instead of the back country road. Yeah, buddy. Bragging. Hey, what time did you get here? See, I got here at 2.30. Everybody come in the door. He gets there at 2.30. 2.35, somebody else shows up. Ah, oh, you're late. See, I, uh -huh. I understood the project. I got this. I knew the assignment. Yeah, I got this. 2.30, y'all running late. How'd y'all get here? Which way y'all come? Oh, they want to know which way you came to get there, what road you took. And no matter what you tell them, that you should have took the interstate. Man, you should have done yourself a favor to the interstate. What the fuck are you, Magellan? Shit, sit down and shut the fuck up. But I'm supposed to be thankful. And then, oh, here we go. Here they come. They show up in the car. She shows up with her fourth boyfriend this month, or the past two months, fourth boyfriend, his four kids, her two kids, and unnamed kids have been, it's like they're raised by wild Indians. I mean, they just are just unfucking believable No discipline going on in that house at all, and it shows. Them kids come in there like they just pulled them out from under the damn house. Clothes look like they've had it on for about three days, rolling around in some red mud, and dirt, clay. Like they've been on an excavation for dinosaur bones for the past three months. They come in there, flip flops, shorts, dirty ass shirt, hands look like they've been playing patty cake in the valley of the shadow of death. Oh my lord, y'all. Feet black like they walked through a damn uh, campfire. Good gosh. And then them kids are like, Oh, I like ham. I like ham. Snatch handful of ham. I like macaroni. Dip their hands in the, in the macaroni and cheese. And <laughs> eating that shit. <laughs> this, this guy over here is looking at me. 
me. He's looking at me like, what the fuck's he doing? <laughs> I'm fucking masturbating. Mind your business. Anyways, you got them. They bring them kids. They running all over the house, terrorizing the dog, chasing the dog, running from the dog, teasing the dogs, getting them riled up. Running around the house, jumping. They'll run and jump off the dang recliner, springboard under the damn couch, run up and down the stairs, slip and fall, scream for an hour and a half crying because they had got a little boo boo, bone sticking out of their arm, but you know, hell, I got band aids. You know, shit like that. I can't, I can't deal with that shit. And then you got the ones that come in there and they act like they, they just got money coming out their ass. And, we're not, you know, we ain't worthy to be around them. Oh, yeah. We got them people. They come in there. Oh, man. We decided to drive the wife's Porsche. You know, we didn't want to stick out or anything. But we parked it down the street so no one backs into it with that 68 Oldsmobile y'all got out there. We don't want no one to back into it with that because your insurance ain't good enough to cover that Porsche. That kind of shit. Oh, I just got the seats relined in the in my Maserati. Yeah, I had my name stitched in the headrest. Yeah, that was, that was just a little spare the moment purchase. I saw it and wanted it, so I got it. Oh, we're getting her Porsche customized next month. Yeah, it's a little Christmas Christmas gift for the little lady. Yeah, she likes it. Whatever. We'll get a bug. Got them people. Then you got the damn food monitor. Oh, they show up. Oh, there you go. They want to ask the ingredients of everything that's out there. Does this got any? Does this got any MSG in it? I'm allergic. All right, does this got peanut oil? All right, what? Who made this? Oh, this this is horrendous. Who made this? Oh my, my mama's got a recipe to die for to make this. Lord help. Uh, this is not sweet tea. It's not unsweet, but it's definitely not sweet. Why do we all gotta sit around this table? You, can y'all not get a bigger table so it won't be so crowded? I'm about to move the table outside and sit by my damn self, be honest with you. But damn. You got them people. Oh, and then you got the country ones. Now, I don't mean country like good old country boys or cowboys, western country or, you know, backwoods country. We're talking about they're a damn cock hair away from being inbred. Oh, yeah. The extended family. Oh, my Lord. They come in there barefooted. Got three possums in a sack. Hey, man, you got anything in that oven? Man, we got cookies up quick, man. It takes a while. I'm going to go out here and skin it right quick. Uh, we're going to skin it up, put it in this pot, and we're going to have us some possum stew. Man, Thanksgiving ain't Thanksgiving without possum stew. Yeah, yeah. Got them coonskin caps. Chewing on a damn weed. Oh, yeah. Got them motherfuckers show up. And they bring all 15 of their damn kids. Bring their damn dogs. And then they had the dogs in the house. The dogs ain't never seen the inside of a house before. But, oh, we let them in and run about while we're eating every now and again. That dog just tearing up shit. Pissing on the Christmas tree. Oh, pissing in the corner. Pissing on Grandma sitting in the chair. Grandma ain't got a clue that she's even in this fucking world. She just... Over there talking something from the 30s. Talking about back when she used to be a flapper girl. Oh my lord heaven. Dog's pissing on her legs. She's like, who is hot? Is it is it hot? My legs are sweating. I mean, easy grandma. I'll take the dog outside. You'll be alright. <coughs> got that shit going on. Oh man. And then you got the ones that want it. Get in the line to go around the table to get a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit. You know, we got enough to go around if you get a normal amount of food. 
Oh, here we go with the pothead that shows up. Oh, he just smoked him a big old fat hog leg right before he walked stroll through the damn doorway by himself. Pulled up with an Uber driver asking me to pay. He walks in there, eyes about as red as a stop sign. Walks in there, he got his little beads on, his Birkenstock sandals. He coming in, what's up, man? Oh, dude, look, bruh. Man, oh, man. Hey, can you catch the Uber driver, man? Man, I spent my last $10 buying this big old fat sack of weed. Huh? You gonna get blazed? Not in here, you're not, Johnny. No. <coughs> Hell no, take your ass outside. Go out there, gotta pay the Uber driver. Pay his ass. But we get in line and shit, and you know, we return grace and thanks for the food and all that stuff. Johnny up front, first one up, last one to show up, but he's the first one in line. What the hell's wrong with that picture? Man, he, he gets a damn ladle. He starts scooping mash, gets a whole plate of nothing but mashed potatoes. Just keep scooping it, man. Yeah, he's scooping that shit up, man. He's piling that shit up, man. Like he's gonna make mashed potato figurines or some shit. But uh, he gets that shit. He's got another plate, man. He needs side planks on these plates, man. I mean, it's just unfucking real. He's getting half a damn turkey and the whole turkey leg throwing it on his plate. Macaroni and cheese scooping it around. Hell, four more people go through the damn line. There ain't shit left but a piece of ham, a pineapple chunk, and a dead cranberry slice. That's it. I'm like, well, what the shit? Him over there eating and eating and eating and shit like it. Man. And then you got the guy, he's, oh, I can't eat another bite. I'm stuffed and full. Goes in there. <coughs> my house, my TV, my couch. He curls up on my damn couch, grabs the remote, turns into a ball game, watching the Dallas Cavaliers versus the New York Redskins or some football shit going on. He curls up just as his head sits down. He lays that remote down. He's asleep. You got all these damn kids running around, dirty-ass kids, three-quarter inbred kids running around the damn house. Want to watch TV? Want to watch them? Goddamn Blippy, Blues Clues, play the video game. They're fighting over that shit. I mean, I'm about ready to get a stun gun and just run amok with it. God, damn. and we're supposed to be thankful for this. Oh, and then when it's time for everybody to leave, you got that one person that showed up. They want to start taking shit to the house with them. They're taking whole pies, 15 Tupperware dishes, food all in all of them. I'm like, what are you doing? Feeding the prisoners? Damn. I mean, I mean, I I don't like leftovers, but damn, I like to have, wake up about 2 in the morning going in and fix me a damn turkey sandwich. Don't bother me none. No, she's taking all that shit. Taking it on with her. I'll bring these bowls back. Sometime about a week or so, I'll come back by here and run these bowls back. Look at here, Sandra. <laughs> you still got the bowls from the last three damn times you've done this shit on Thanksgiving. It's the only time we ever see your asses on Thanksgiving. What the fuck are you going to do? Fed the son of a bitches? Damn. But we're supposed to be thankful. Yeah. Thankful we're alive. During Thanksgiving, I kind of wish I wasn't. Thankful for your family during Thanksgiving? I kind of regret that shit. It's just in fucking sanity. And then everybody leaves. They just leave. They don't help clean up. Paper plates, heavy food uh, laying everywhere. Drink cups half full of damn drink sitting around everywhere. Dogs licking food out of plates. And they just leave. Don't help nobody clean up shit. Just leave. I'm like, what the fuck is this? A fucking restaurant? 
This ain't fucking Golden Corral, y'all. Damn. But we got to be thankful. Man, y'all have a good day. I hope you're thankful. I hope you're blessed. All honesty, man, I really, I, you know, it really ain't that bad at my damn family Thanksgiving dinner. It ain't that bad at all. I kind of enjoy it. And I enjoy having a family there. And, you know, <laughs> I wish to God every one of y'all that are watching this right now, I hope every one of y'all, man, I wish the hell y'all could be at my table Thanksgiving, man. But, y'all... Be thankful for the table you're under, the roof over your head, the clothes on your back, and the family that loves you. Be thankful. Love you. Have a good day. It's turkey, turkey time. You butterball. You fill my mind. It's turkey.